What's going on guys? Logan Cole here. Welcome to the new video. It is currently, well, I can't see that, but it is currently 4.42, so I need to be leaving very soon. And I wanted to have something to eat this morning for once, and uh, we'll just have a look here. Great. So, the uh, the battery is low on my scales, and I'm not gonna eat without measuring it, because now it is, five weeks out, not long to go now, and can't be not measuring my food. I was sure I had a battery left over from the replacement for my keys, but that doesn't seem to be able to be found. I was up to about 12, just after 12 last night, looking for supplies for gear for the nine week challenge coming up. So like shirts, towels, water bottles, stuff like that. And then I'm still up at four, so I am dead at the moment. We'll push through, I actually wanna go through kind of like my way of like sourcing them and possibly if you guys are interested knowing that too. I'm going to go run, run class now and uh, got a pretty big day. I am posing today. Um, I might actually take this, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'll take this to my posing with uh, Soho Physiques and uh, yeah, hopefully get this rig pretty good on stage, so. So I'm running a bit late at the moment, but um, I'll do a quick morning check-in. So this is my physique currently. I haven't, it's been a while. I'll probably do a better physique check-in when it's actually daylight. My legs are starting to really lean up. Everything's starting to really lean up. Some news as well. The, uh, I've got new shorts like these ones coming in in navy blue and black and a bit shorter so that's pretty exciting show off the legs show off the pegs and um that should be this week hopefully yeah that's how that's how my my rig's looking at the moment i'm pretty happy with where i'm at i'll be able to make it look a lot better when i know how to pose properly so that's today and i'll be working out with riley so i'll show you that workout as well may as well chuck it in So I've arrived back just before I go down to the gym and train and I forgot, I forgot that um, the batteries ran out on my scale this morning. So what I did, I actually thought I had an extra, extra battery from what I put into the keys, but turns out my keys needed two batteries and there was two in there. One of them activates the bottom buttons, which I don't use, and then the top two for the other ones. So what I did was I just took one out of there and chucked it in my scales. So now I put functioning scales i think let's uh let's flip it over and have a look oh look at that so pretty happy um the meal i have been having um first up is pretty much like a half egg half egg white omelet uh, i have two eggs and 160 mils of egg whites at the moment my macronutrients and calories have dropped this week they're on 2000 so let's come over to the whiteboard if we look over here, we'll cross out week seven with 2,530 minutes cardio. Week six, 2,250 with 35. We're up to week five here with 2,000 calories and 40 minutes of cardio per day. Um, and this is the meal plan that I have written out for myself. So this is meal one, breakfast, 200 grams of sweet potato, 50 grams. I've actually increased that to 100 grams. And then we've got two eggs and 160 ml egg whites instead. So that is going to be the meal that I make right now. So first things first here, I just get 200 grams of sweet potato out of the ready packet. I do this. I get these packets because I know there's a kilo in there, so I know I can divide it up evenly and I can get five days out of one of these packets, so that's why I do that. Um, without having to think too hard, especially like on low calories and stuff. So I'll open that up and we chop it up into small little pieces. So once I chop all these up into like their little squares, the next step is to, I was crucified for not doing this, so next step is to wash them. So I just put a bit of water over them, drain them out, and then fill them with water, and then they're going in the microwave. About six minutes, because these are cut up small, and they're only 200 grams. I usually cut, cook my spud light for seven minutes to seven and a half, so we get on to that. 
The next step is cutting up 100 grams of ham. So I just get like the 400 gram value pack. You get them in like these little uh, containers and I just empty out a full one of those. I think it's only like, maybe like 60 calories or something like that. So I cook that in the pan after it's cut up into small bits. So then it's kind of like, it's like a bacon hit, but like nowhere near the fat. Another thing I like to add is uh, spring onion. It's completely up to you whether you like onion or not or like the flavor. But I like to put a bit of spring onion. This comes at the end, so pretty much like once it's almost all cooked, this gets put on later. But I'm gonna get to the eggs now, so. Let me show you how it is that. So while I'm waiting for all this to cook, and the potatoes in the microwave, I'm going to have a little snack. And last night I worked out a little ice cream hack. So for people that get ice cream cravings, use your Yo Plate Zero and measure out like whatever, whatever fits into your macro. So I've got 300 grams there. And then what you're gonna do is add frozen berries. You leave that in there, mix them in, and they kind of like cool down the yogurt and form like almost like a ice cream. And it is really good tasting, it's satisfying. So I'm gonna do that now while I'm waiting for all this stuff to cook and then I can be completely satisfied off of my omelette. So I'm gonna rip into that. So now that my potatoes are out of the microwave, I drain them out in the sink and then they go straight in there with the bacon. I mean, ham kind of bacon and then you start Mixing those around, let them cook in there for a little bit. Following that, using the same container as I just took the sweet potato out of because I don't have any other ones, we're going to measure out 160, about there, 160. And then, I'm not going to try and do this one handed, but two eggs, two eggs into there, scramble them, then into there. So then as the top of this starts to set, we then want to add our spring onions over the top, evenly distributed somewhat. As you're cooking, you also want to just give the omelette a bit of a shake, a bit of a shake. See what, okay, oh there you go. So give it a shake and see if it's moving, especially if you've got like a non-stick pan, just make sure nothing's like sticking to the bottom, burning to the bottom. I did have one at home or mum and dad, where it would always just, if it, if it cooked too much in one spot, it would stick to the pan, and then I'd end up with just a scrambled omelette. So, with this one, yeah, give it a bit of a shake. Make sure it's all moving. And also, if you have a ready grill, you can also grill the top of it. I've been doing it down there sometimes. I've just grilled the top real quick, just let it set, so it's not running on top. But this seems to be cooking all the way through now, so I'm just gonna eat it straight from here. Yes. All right, so just finished my omelet, and now I'm going to quickly clean up because Riley has just messaged me and said he wants to train at 10.30 instead of 10 o'clock. I'm gonna take some time, wash this shit up because I've been leaving stuff around the place too much, and it just turned into a pigsty, and I hate coming home to a pigsty. So I, I'm taking ownership, and I am washing up because this is my place, I live by myself, so no one else is gonna do it. Also, um, yeah, no, my shirt's not off because I'm trying to pose for you guys. Shirts off because I ate my omelette so quick that I started to sweat. So I didn't want to sweat my new shirts because I just got some Team Flex shirts the other day. Might actually show you them a bit later. Got some Team Flex shirts, brand newies, and they're actually pretty awesome. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you that. But I'm going to wash up here, and then when I see you next, I'm going to be at the gym training. New program, pull day one. See you there. So just rocked up a definition over behind me, locking the car. I'm actually not even sure what we're training other than other than it being pool day and
Other than it being pool day and a new workout, I'm not sure. I can't remember what Riley came up with because I did a different workout to him yesterday because I don't have the equipment available that they have a definition because I trained at my gym. But uh, we'll get in there and we'll have a chat to him anyway. So because Riley is running a little bit late, I had a bit of time to have a look at what he wrote up. You can see that. But... No, you can't see it. But um, yeah, there's some better workouts in there, some better exercises that I was hoping to do. So we got like one arm dumbbell row, underarm lat pull down, a hammer strength row machine, which is my fucking favorite. Face pulls again. And then cable light raises. I think I'm going to stick to dumbbell light raises on that one. Um, and then bench concentration curl and high cable curl. I think I'm just going to do the high cable curl because I have legs to do. So I still train legs because in classic they actually are taken into consideration. Whereas with Riley in men's physique, they wear board shorts. So they don't need to actually have their legs. <laughs> well, they need to have their legs so they can walk, but they don't need to have their legs conditioned because they're covered up. So yeah, that's where we kind of like divert and split with our training program. All right, so Riley's rocked up now. He put together the workout. So this is the man for our workout today. Yeah. And the responsibility for the soreness that I deal with. So it's everlasting. Everlasting. How are you feeling today, bro? Oh, fucking amazing. Talk, talk to the camera about it. I feel tired. I feel sore. And how many calories are you on? 2,600 lately, but dropping it to 2.5. 2.5, But 2.5 for me feels like a fucking, like, a granule. So, like, you've got, like, a bowl of food, and then, like, imagine, like, a little granule. Hang on, I need to zoom on that. Wait, let's see it. Show me the granule. <laughs> little granule. Okay, granule, yeah. That's what it feels like. Okay. That's what my well, daily intake feels like. That is why you have training partners, so that I can, like, drag his ass through this one. So, we've got five weeks. I'm on 2,000 calories, looking at 1,900 the next two weeks, and then 1,700 the two weeks after that. I'm on 40 minutes cardio, fucked in the head, but whatever. We're gonna get into this back session, see what Riley came up with. Walk first. So we, we worked out why Riley um, is so down. Fuck, this guy uh, took some shit. Yeah, as well as being C completely like what do you call what do you call it when the caffeine doesn't work anymore? Tolerant. As as, com as, as well as being completely completely tolerant yeah. of caffeine. Yeah. And it doesn't do anything. He's also he got he got me underwater. So I've been pumping heaps of water. And he's got the shittest little shaker bottle. Show him your shaker bottle. It's probably like half full. It's probably like half full. It's like double the size, so and it's warm, bro, it's warm. It's warm. It's so, so I, I am so hydrated. I am, I am so hydrated. And that's why I'm in a good mood. And he's just like drinking warm, dehydrating water. Probably salt water. Probably salt water. But I'm going to get into this 50 kilo set now. And, uh... Fuck, someone's big. I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy my favorite exercise. <laughs> enjoy, bro. <laughs> That wasn't hard, it was just a slow rep. <laughs> it wasn't hard. <laughs> Fucking lightweight, bro. Just slow. Time over tension, baby. And then today, he leaves, he's at, he, at home, he has to use my camera, so... And now I'm gonna do 60 kilos. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not nodding, I'm not nodding, it's the camera. That's the camera going up and down, I'm not nodding. He's nodding, but... <laughs> Saturday, my hand is far, 
I only grip with my fingers. Go up. Take my strong hand. Slice the bar. But um, yeah, we're still gonna get it done. We're still gonna get it done. Maybe, maybe. Second number one favorite exercise. Second favorite exercise. Second. But a group is not holding up. At all. We're on now. Last back exercise before we get in the bars. And then, uh, I'm the same leg. Yay! Finally, did so I don't know. Wanna get in there? Wait, 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 wait. That was a joke, mine are tiny. Alright. I'm doing physique because they're so small that I don't have to show them. Hey, I wanted to, like, talk about that as well. Talk to the camera, tell them why, why you don't have to train legs. I don't have to train legs because I'm doing physique. And the reason I'm doing physique is because my legs are so small and I like to skip leg day. Don't skip leg day, people. Be like, Logan. Skip cardio. <laughs> like, after Kong. After Kong, skip cardio every day. Yeah, fuck cardio. <laughs> So I've just rocked up at Club One Wollongong for my posing session, just waiting on Soho, so rad to finish with your clients at the moment. This gym is like actually pretty epic. I'll show you. It's been a while since I've been here. I used to come here when I first was at in high school and used to get like a free, free like four weeks during the Christmas holidays and all that stuff wasn't there. But this stuff looks epic. So it's a huge gym. Um, we're gonna be in the posing room and I'm gonna film it. So you'll see the pointers and stuff that he gives me, but you'll see that inside. All right guys, so we're here with Sarab. Sarab, and we're going to be working on my classic physique posing today. So why don't you run us through a couple of things we're gonna be working on, bro. So we're, today we're gonna do um, all the quarter turns. Uh, I'll see first what Logan has. Um, I'll see his poses, do a bit of fine tuning, uh, find his angles, see what kind of, if we can make a pose look better in his advantage. So he can um, kind of hide his weaknesses, bring his advantages out. We've got a lot of weaknesses. Um, and uh, well, yeah, we'll just play around with some poses. Awesome guys, we're going to get into it. Sweet.
not who you are and anymore. It's what you do that defines you. Goddamn huge day. Uh, after posing, went a bit over time, so I had to piss bolt back to the gym because I had a client at 2.30 and finished there at like 10 past. Um, and I've been at the gym ever since. But it's about 6.30 now and the only meal I had was the omelette in the morning. So I've eaten about 480 calories all day. We've got 1,600 calories worth of food to eat, and then I've also got cardio to do. Yay! So, feeling a bit flat right now, but uh, we'll push through. And gonna enjoy some food before I go up, do cardio. But yeah, see what happens after that, see how I feel. So the amount of food that I just ate has just hit me like a ton of bricks. I go into a bit of a food coma and it's about 20 to 8. I've got 40 minutes of cardio to do. I quickly cleaned up because I don't really want to come home to a washing machine full of dishes. I have two YouTube videos to edit. I think this is going to be the second of them. I have an Instagram video that I'm just about to film and... I need to talk to the suppliers that I got in contact with last night for some items for the eight week challenge. I really want to get these things through. Hopefully these new shorts come in pretty much like the LC ones, but in navy blue and black with the white logo. Pretty keen for them to come in. I got a few people really interested in getting some, so hopefully they can sell out quick. Uh, they've been ages and then I'll put in a order I think possibly for 19 hashtag 19 neat shirts they'll have the Logan Cole coaching logo and then 19 neat across the back so pretty keen to do them um, some plain ones and then also bottles towels and uh, possibly backpacks pretty keen to do that it's draining I'll tell you what Tomorrow will be 4.5 weeks out from comp and got some more calories to drop. I think it's just today's like such a yo-yo, um, doing, doing so much and then not eating and then eating a lot and then just wanting to crash. But that's what we do. Things are going to fuck with your head. Things are going to be a lot more exaggerated and I just need to step back and realise that. Uh, in, the, in the next video, I'm pretty keen to talk about 
bettering yourself and what I have come to terms with a little bit in the last coming weeks. On a positive note, on a positive note, I'm not, I'm not feeling down. I was in the last couple of weeks. Uh, well, not last couple of weeks, it wasn't this way. It was like probably about three, three, four weeks ago. I was having like bad emotional problems, but it's all past now because I'm thinking of the situations in a different way. And I want to chat about that in case anyone else is going through that kind of shit. So I'm going to cut the vlog off here. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my posing. And I was in my underwear. <laughs> it's a bit weird, especially when I was in um, Club Lime. And there's people like the whole gym can see and I'm just in my underwear. I'm just going, whatever, I look shredded. But yeah, I had a good session, good posing. Didn't eat as consistent as I wanted to today, but my, my clients, you know what? My clients helped me so much today. And what keeps me going is them being positive and awesome, and then staying accountable to you guys, making videos like this. So I'll keep pushing on, keep pushing on. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, remember to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment if you want to see something. There was a couple of people who commented some videos and hopefully I get to those topics soon enough. But till then, keep doing something with fitness that like betters you and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. All right, catch you later, guys.